Y como dicen los wow, se... Sister Marlene Cachipuendo is a Laurita missionary in the province of Orellana in the Ecuadorian Amazon. She works with the indigenous Waurani people. Since the beginning of the year, both indigenous and religious people have been protesting against Petro Ecuador, the country's public hydrocarbon company. It extracts around 14,000 barrels of crude oil daily from a field in the territory, which is equivalent to $1 million a day. But looking at the surrounding villages, the money does not trickle down to the locals. The Waurani people are currently suffering, mainly because their territory is contaminated and also because the oil company has always entered their territory without consulting them. Despite the opportunity for wealth on their land, the residents have no access to electricity, health care, schools or clean drinking water. A recent oil spill in a river contaminated the soil and water, making the people sick. Diarrhea. Diarrhea, headache, sores on the skin that burst. They have been through a lot because the children are also currently sick and sometimes they don't go to school. The mothers worry about their children and they also suffer from that illness. According to Ecuadorian law, before an oil company begins to exploit a territory, it must carry out a free and informed consultation. The Waurani say no one has asked them and they are still waiting for an explanation from the Ministry of Energy. They sent a formal request last December. We want them to come and consult first before entering the communities. The Laurita sisters have been in this territory for two years. They provide guidance and non-formal education to the locals. The sisters want to help them have the opportunity to study at one of the local universities so that they will be able to help form the community's future leaders. In the meantime, both groups continue to fight Petro Ecuador and other oil companies that have been profiting for 32 years while the basic needs of surrounding villages are being neglected.